Right here is a um, Daytona Sandown Park hot lap guide in the D-Max carts. By no means am I very good, it's just local track, now quite well. So here's a hot lap guide, I take three each turn. Um, here we go. So make sure you get a nice exit out behind the corner. So keep it all the way flat down the straight. Okay, and the key to turn one is to Smooth input when you're turning in, make sure you're turning in late. Look, look how late you can see I'm turning in super late and only a smooth input. You may need a tiny lift if it's if it's super hot, maybe a tiny, tiny lift. Just a smooth, smooth input, turning in late. Shift your weight to the, get the back end of the cart, get the left side out towards the outside. Shift the back end out towards the outside. Um, try to get your cart tucked in, try to get the cart angled in whilst turning in late. And then, um, yeah, make sure you turn in late and then make sure you do lift enough. Don't let the cart wash out. So you want to kind of quite a late apex, mid late apex, probably about here. And here you see I'd probably get on the power, probably, for this is probably a bit of a too late apex. You want a mid late apex and get on the power smoothly. Here you can see I oversteer, got on the power too early, but don't let the cart wash out. Tuck it in early if you can, get the angle correctly and just a smooth input. Back on the power as quickly as you can, then make sure you get the angle right. Make sure you're driving the cart out straightwards, um, not left or right. Make sure the cart is angled straight. You're driving it, making it most efficient, driving it out as straight as possible on the power. When you get early on the power, turn two is quite a heavy braking zone, braking just before this. And here you do want to brake very, well, you want to brake as late as possible. Get the cart angled in like this. Go in a bit deep, and then you want to kind of do the U shape. Go in too deep. And then at this point, when I've, I've hit the apex initially, I've hit the start of the apex. At this point, I'm still braking, trail braking here. Just go in too deep, like get the angle right. It's all about the angle going deep, heavy, braking a straight line and with a lot of input. Go in a bit too deep, trail brake to bring it back after, to bring it back round about here. So at this point, I'm trail braking. And then once you bring it back, I probably brought it back a bit later. Bring it back and then as early on the power as possible. Um, bring it round, make sure you get your position right here and then the key to turn three is a sharp sharp steering input you want to be very harsh on the left hack the steering wheel left sharp input shift your weight and you can even dab, lock the brakes dab the brakes lock them if you need and you want to aim to hit the curb about there probably want to take some curb um early on the power obviously and then the key to turn four is braking just at the um change in surface here you can see the change surface braking a heavy i break i like to break in the straight line break heavy use the brakes and these are quite good brakes break heavy in the straight line here and then bring it around probably a bit late on the apex avoid the curb because it's very very slippy so heavy straight line braking you can lock, make sure you do lock the brakes here shift the rear of the car out to get the angle right as you do and then get early on the power and then here key to turn um five get the cart tucked in i, I didn't tuck it in really that well here you want to get use the camber because there's a bit of camber here. Get it tucked in on the apex, nice and tight, nice and tight like that. Use the camber in here. Tuck it in. Just remain patient. Remain patient. Remain patient. Remain early on the power as possible. Driving the cart straight out forwards. And then key to turn six is braking just after the overhead bridge and heavy again in a straight line. These cars are very good at braking the straight line. You can brake pretty heavily in these cars. Make sure you without without spinning. And you do again. Just want to lock the brakes very briefly. Dab them. Perhaps like one harsh input, dab the brakes. Um, take loads of curb here. You can, it's not slippery. Um, angle the car out the right way and then here. Gotta keep, you've really got to try and keep flat here. Get it tucked in and remain as patient as you can. Keep it flat though, keep it flat, keep it flat. Bring it, make sure you get out to the outside. Try widen out the final corner. Um, and the key to the final corner is slow in and get on the power bar earlier. So make sure you give yourself as much room as possible. Bring it all the way out as I am here. Slow in, you probably take a lot of curb as I do here. And early on the power, drive the power. So it's a pretty decent hot lap. Um, I'm just going to run it through from the start quickly and I'll do a um, full lap, roll, rolling lap. I'll just quickly commentate over. So here we go. So again, make sure you get a good exit up front of the corner, down straight. And again, key to turn one, smooth inputs, turning as late as possible, little lift. Power, don't let the car wash out, drive out straight woods, heavy braking, heavy braking, go in deep, make sure trail braking, trail braking, bring it around early on the power, harsh steering input, hack the wheel in, patient but early on the power as you can, coming up the braking or changing surface in the road, braking heavy in a straight line, 
lock the brakes, shift your cut weight out, bring it, avoid the curve if you can, so stay slippery, tuck it into the camber here, stay patient, stay patient, stay patient, drive it out, break it over the overhead bridge here, pass the overhead bridge, a lot of curb, a lot of curb, the angle out, bang on the power, and keep it flat through here, keep it flat, keep it flat if you can, tuck it in, get wide, open up the final corner, early on the power, take the curb, and that is the lap. Thank you very much for watching, cheers.